Hey everybody, Fallout here, and today I've got another God Roll video for you. Thought I'd mix it up this time, how about we take a break from bullets and look at something that goes boom instead. Enter the Bad Omens rocket launcher. And guess what, curveball, today we're actually going to be taking a look at the PvE God Roll on this puppy, not the PvP roll. That's right, what's the best roll that you'd want to bring into a nightfall, a raid, or what have you? So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing, the Bad Omens, the rocket launcher that you can get from playing Gambit. Now I do need to mention that if you prestige, aka hit maximum rank in Gambit and then reset your rank twice, you get a very special version of this weapon with a fixed roll. And full disclosure, that fixed roll is very, very good. But not everybody has played that much Gambit. Maybe you don't like Gambit, like some kind of weirdo. Maybe you only want to play it enough just to get one or two bad omens, and you're looking to see what a good RNG roll might be. I mean, I haven't even prestiged twice in Gambit yet, and I love Gambit. I just have a couple of these rocket launchers laying around in my vault. Maybe you're like me. But anyway, we'll talk about the fixed roll later. But in the meantime, let's talk about good rolls that you can get on a random drop bad omens. Alrighty, the Bad Omens, in terms of rocket launchers, has a relatively low blast radius and a fairly high velocity. And if you're not already convinced this baby was made for PvE, then check this out. It fires at 25 rounds per minute. I know that seems kind of slow, but for the record, that's pretty fast in rocket land, beating out 20 RPM rockets like the Apex Predator and going way past old favorites like the Sins of the Past, which has a 15 RPM. So yeah, the Bad Omens can pump out damage like nobody's business, and with that, let's go ahead and see what we can roll on this thing, starting in the far right column and going backwards towards the left, as is tradition. Column 4, what a doozy. Cluster Bomb, Quick Draw, Genesis, and Kill Clip. Let's throw out what we don't want, starting with Genesis. I know that can potentially upset some people because it is kind of a cool perk when you do get it to proc. Breaking an enemy shield fills your magazine from the reserves. Nice to have, but there's better options out there if you ask me. Also throwing out Quick Draw, which is a shame because I like Quick Draw. We're looking for a bit more from our PvE role, like the ability to do more damage. And at the risk of confusing a lot of people, we are also going to throw away, get ready, Kill Clip. Yes, I'm serious. No, I have not lost my mind. I know that Kill Clip provides you opportunities to do more damage, and yes, more damage is what we're looking for. But bear with me for a minute. Kill Clip is activated by getting a kill with said weapon, and then reloading, and then voila, extra damage on a timer. Rocket launchers have low-ish ammo reserves compared to other weapons, so using one rocket to trigger extra damage, especially against something like a strike or a raid boss, is a potential waste of one-sixth or one-eighth of your overall ammo supply. That's a lot. You're also wasting time by setting up the initial kill, reloading, and then proceeding with your normally scheduled DPS. And on top of that, especially in raids or strikes, most rocket DPS phases are done while standing either in a Warlock Rift supported by Luna Faction Boots or a Titan Rally Barricade, both which remove reloading from the process altogether. Yeah, in theory, you could proc Kill Clip, and in doing so, waste one rocket, and then you could reload, you could get Kill Clip activated, then you could get into the rift and let the rockets fly, but wow, that is really labor intensive. And we can do better. What I'm saying is that there are more reliable ways of doing extra rocket damage, which brings us to what we actually want, Cluster Bomb, a PvE rocket launcher staple. Cluster Bomb is an easy, hassle-free way of doing extra damage to strike and raid bosses, or anyone really. You don't need to waste one rocket to get the extra damage to trigger, there's no time limit on your extra damage, and you can get to the DPSing right away. Okay, moving on, column 3, and there's actually a few perks in here that I kind of like for rocket launchers. Here's one that I don't though, Snapshot. Fun fact, rockets are not sniper rifles, and there's really no need to attempt to quickscope enemies with Snapshot. 
Being able to ADS faster is always better than slower, but it doesn't really make sense on this weapon. Auto loading holster. If we were talking about rocket launchers in a PvP environment, auto loading holster is actually a pretty good perk. Most rockets, as I'm sure you know, have annoyingly slow reload, and being able to have the weapon auto load itself a new rocket for you while you put the gun away is pretty clutch. It's still a good perk for PvP, but I think we can do better. Now, I want everyone watching this video to take a deep breath and be calm. Think happy thoughts right now. I am not recommending tracking module. Yes, I know what I said. Let me explain. Tracking is a great perk for PvE. That being said, remember earlier when I talked about resetting your gambit rank twice gives you a fixed roll on a rocket launcher? The curated roll on the Bad Omens comes guaranteed with both tracking and cluster bombs together. So if you're looking for that, easy, now you know how to get one. So because you can get that roll guaranteed in time, let's talk about what I'm going to recommend for the non-curated roll, and that happens to be field prep. Whoa. Shocker. Field prep actually being good for something. Rocket launchers are extremely good at DPSing strike and raid bosses, and field prep gives you more ammo reserves. More ammo equals more rockets to fire equals more overall damage output. As long as you're accurate with your rocket shots, who needs tracking? You're doing more damage overall. And yes, I know that technically you could just put on armor with perks that boost your rocket ammo reserves, but with field prep equipped, that's one less thing you have to worry about, your armor loadout. Moving on to column two, I have to make another shout out to the curated role on this weapon, and that is the only way to get the perk impact casing. That's really what you want on this gun, because it's another way of doing extra damage. So if that's what you're pining for, go grind out the curated roll, as you should be doing. But in the meantime, there's another perk that you can keep your eyes peeled for, which is almost as good. And it happens to be implosion rounds, which does two things. One, it pumps up your rocket velocity, and it also, two, lowers your blast radius. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute, why would I want to lower my blast radius? Some of you are probably ahead of me. Check out my other video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet, which talks a lot about rocket launchers and the fact that a lower blast radius means your cluster bomb spread will be closer together and more tightly packed, which is good for DPSing raid and strike bosses. I mean, I kind of just explained it right there, but go watch that video anyway. And the same thing is gonna go for column one. For boss damaging rockets in PvE, we want high velocity, low blast radius. So out of every option in column one, we want hard launch. Lowers your blast radius, pumps up your velocity. Don't worry, as long as your rockets are hitting your target directly, you won't be doing any less damage with a lower blast radius. The goal here is to keep your cluster bomb spread tightly packed together for maximum damage output per rocket. And with that in mind, the masterwork. Any ideas what we don't want? Very good, blast radius. Also, stability, because who really cares about that for a rocket launcher? Oh no, the recoil's too intense! Ideally, we're looking for velocity, although you should also be happy with either handling or reload speed. So, to recap, what exactly is our god-rolled Bad Omens rocket launcher? Aside from the curated version, I mean. Hard launch, implosion rounds, field prep, cluster bomb, and a velocity masterwork. Boom, perfect for any last wish riven shredding raid attempt. Or, you know, any boss who needs to get taken down a peg or two. And again, if you're crying right now, oh, I can't believe he's not recommending tracking rockets, just go for the curated version. That one's great anyway, but at least now you know what to look for up until you get that curated version. Go grind some Gambit, y'all. It's worth it. And that's about it. If you're new around here, or if you've been putting this off for forever, you know who you are. Please, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button to stay alerted for all new content and to help me out, which would really be cool of you. Also, if you feel like it, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and follow me into the depths of hell. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you learned something. See you next time.